My hair is one of the many things about me that's oppressive. I make a conscious decision to shampoo it and condition it and rinse and repeat and mousse it and brush it out and spray it and blow it dry. It tells me what to wear, how to talk, which angle to cock my head. It tells me how to fit in with like-haired people and how to talk towards different-haired people. My hair is fascist. But I elected it to power. I didn't just play with it or flaunt it. I wielded it like a weapon. I worshipped it like a goddess. I yielded to it. But then it dawned on me. I spent hours and hours deploying all sorts of dyes and chemicals and toxins to my hair just to try to make it look natural. So I started hanging out with people with bad hair the people who were not taking care of their hair because they were taking care of their soul. And I felt real. For the first time, I felt real. <laughs>